You know, there was a time where I might have believed that's how you plant sweet potatoes, but not anymore. So if you want to have a harvest like this, stick around because today we're going to go over our complete sweet potato planting guide. Come on, let's go. Sweet potatoes are one of the most caloric and nutritionally dense vegetables you can grow, but they have some very unique growing requirements. So before we go any further, let's determine if your specific area is suitable for growing sweet potatoes or if you can just back out of this video and save some time. Sweet potatoes grow best when the days are hot and the nights are warm. They're extremely heat tolerant and they can even tolerate a light frost as long as the soil temperature remains above 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you need to plant them in an area that receives full sun about 150 days prefer your first frost. You know, every now and then after a long hot day working in the garden and trying to keep the squirrels from eating everything that I've grown, I ask myself, why do I garden? Honestly, it's a lot easier just to go to the grocery store to get your food there. There's a lot involved in getting that sweet potato and any other produce from the field to the grocery store shelf. So ask yourself this one question, which am I more confident in? My ability to plant, grow, and harvest my own vegetables, or everything in that process we just saw to run completely smoothly without any interruptions or glitches for the foreseeable future? I know what my answer is, and that's one of the reasons I garden. Sweet potatoes produce large vines that grow very aggressively, so you need to make sure you plant them in an area that is either enclosed like a raised bed, or that has a lot of space for them to grow in. Sweet potatoes? Yams. Now, you probably don't spend too much time thinking about them other than when grandma serves up her candied yams during the holidays or when you take a walk on the wild side and order sweet potato fries with your hamburger. Now, although often used interchangeably, there are actually two very different plants. Yams are monocots like grasses or lilies. Yams are typically not sold as a food crop in the United States. Sweet potatoes are a member of the Morning Glory family and are native to Central and South America. They're a perennial, but they're typically grown as a warm season annual. They the edible portion is a storage root that has smooth, thin skin that comes in a variety of colors including white, yellow, red, purple, brown, or orange. Now before we get planting, let's go over some preliminaries. Although fairly disease and pest resistant, leaf spots, nematodes, beetles, cutworms, and weevils can sometimes impact your sweet potatoes. But luckily, any damage to the vine will have very little impact on the roots the plant will produce. Sweet potatoes grow best in well-drained, friable, that's kind of loose and crumbly soil. Now before planting, sweet potatoes, remove all rocks, trash, and weeds from the planting area, and if you're not growing in a raised bed, till the soil to a depth of about 8 to 12 inches. To help prevent disease, be sure to practice proper crop rotation by not planting potatoes in soil in which sweet potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, potatoes, or okra were grown in the past two years. Sweet potatoes grow best in soil that does not have any fertilizer added to it other than some compost. Since the root is the storage vessel for the plant's nutrients, adding fertilizer may result in an increased vine growth but long and stringy roots. Don't dig too deep when using a hoe or pulling weeds to avoid damaging the tubers. Once planted, water the soil regularly to keep it evenly moist. Somewhere around an inch of water every week. Water early in the morning to allow the plants to dry throughout the day and to reduce the chance of spreading disease. Now a single sweet potato plant will produce about two pounds of sweet potatoes. Now sweet potatoes are not grown from seed but from slips which form on the outside of mature sweet potato roots. Now you can grow your own slips but I'll have another video on doing that later. But for now, it's fairly inexpensive and easy just to order your slips online and have them delivered right to your house. They'll come in a little cardboard box wrapped in moistened moss and paper. Now when they arrive, the leaves will most likely be a little wilted, so it's important that you place them in water to soak for a few days to rehydrate them before planting. Now this season, rather than just soaking my slips in plain water like I usually do, I tried something new and I was very impressed with it. Let me show you what it was. I was recently contacted by a company and they sent me a sample of one of their products. It's an organic growth stimulant called Rev Organic. Now this video is not sponsored by them and I received no financial incentive to put their product in a positive light. If it didn't work, 
I'd say so. It's USDA certified organic, all natural concentrate derived from reed sedge beds in the Dakotas. So this year, rather than soaking my slips in plain water, I added some organic rev and let them soak for about three or four days. And here's what I ended up with. The roots on the slips were probably twice as developed as other seasons when I used only water. Now I'll make another video later that takes a deeper dive into what exactly this product is and how it works. But suffice to say, it certainly worked for my sweet potato slips. Now even though they love the heat, you may want to plant your sweet potato slips either early in the morning or on a cloudy or overcast day so they have a little bit of time to adjust to the direct sunlight. Plant the sweet potato slips about 12 inches apart. Dig a hole deep enough for the root system to fit down into. Insert the slip then fill the hole and firm the soil around the plant. Water right after planting and regularly while the plants get established. So if you're looking for a great warm season crop, try something new this year and plant sweet potatoes. Wait a second, if you're having trouble with squirrels in your garden, check out this video up here. This one's pretty good too.